So a few weeks ago, Lil Uzi released his track, Futsal Shuffle 2020, and I made a little tutorial video on his dance. And then a few days ago, he just released his music video. And in the music video, there are a few guys who do this move where they jump in the air, tuck, and then dive to the ground. I'm just gonna call it the jump dive, and that's what we're gonna learn in this video. Let's learn the jump dive, y'all. Let's get it. What's up, you guys? This is Kai from Vertigo Vision. If you're returning, welcome back. It's good to have you again. If you're new, hi, welcome. If you wanna see more dance videos, filmmaking tutorials, or just learning, videos, then go ahead and click the subscribe button, hit the bell, and you will be alerted the next time I make some quality content. All right, so today we're gonna learn the jump dive from the Futsal Shuffle 2020 music video, okay? And I'm not really sure where this move comes from. If you know, please let me know in the comments. It looks a lot like a breaking move called the swipe, but it's not quite there, but we're gonna learn it because I learned it and I wanna teach it to you guys now. So what you're gonna wanna do before you start learning this move is make sure that your body's limber. We don't wanna hurt ourselves when we're practicing this, okay? It looks like an intimidating move, but with my guidance, I'm going to make sure that you learn this safely, quickly, and well, so that when you pull it out in front of your friends, you can impress them with your mad skills. Let's get it, okay? Make sure your wrists are limber, all right? So we're going to put our hands together, and we're just going to roll them out, just like that, all right? Make sure your knees are limber, too. So you're just going to put them together, put your hands on your knees, circles, like 10 times each way. Next thing you're going to want to make sure you have is a soft surface, like grass, you don't wanna practice also on like a hard surface like concrete or blacktop unless you're already pretty skilled, but I'd recommend a softer surface because we're jumping onto our hands. And you don't wanna hurt yourself. So go ahead and do that for yourself. Don't hurt yourself. All right, once you're all limbered out, now we're gonna start practicing the move. First thing we're gonna make sure you can do is just a few push-ups, like one or two or three, just to see that you can hold your own body weight. Let's make sure that you can, you know, just make sure you got your arms straight and then bend down and go down a few times. Yeah, doing great. Once you got your limbered wrists and your limbered knees, we're gonna learn how to jump and tuck, okay? So all that's gonna be is you're gonna stand in place, you're gonna make sure you can jump up, and after you jump, you wanna be able to tuck your body into a ball. So together, it's a jump tuck, right? Simple, not too high, just enough to be able to like tuck into a little ball. Practice that a few times just to get the coordination. If you need to practice even slower than that, you can sit down, practice things straight, and then grabbing into a ball. <laughs> and then grabbing into a ball. Yo, I just watched the playback and my hair is not having it today, you guys. I look like Goku out here, but that's okay because we're going Super Saiyan today. Screw the hair, I don't care. I, I kind of do care. So what we're gonna do next is break down the dangerous, scary part of this move, which is jumping from a high height, right? So how can we make this safe? Let's subtract the height first and let's just figure out how to get on our hands from our legs. So what he's doing is he's going to turn his body and he's hopping onto his hands, but instead, let's take out the jump. Let's just start from our hands and roll and switch the weight from our legs onto our hands, okay? Just like that. Sideways, I'm gonna show you. I'm literally just leaning and catching myself. And that's why the push-up is important, right? So you can catch yourself. Next step, once you feel more comfortable with that, you're gonna try to jump into it, okay? We're still starting from a low height, but we're going to hop a little bit into it, okay? Hop. Take your time. You can put less energy into it if you want. Just learn to hop a little bit and catch, okay? Next, when you get more comfortable, we're gonna start adding some height. So we're gonna go from here. Let's go a little bit higher, all right? We're gonna go from here. Just learn to fall first so you get more comfortable. Once you feel more comfortable with that, you're gonna hop a little bit into it, all right? Hop. Yep, keep trying that over and over again. Hop. There you go. And then, as you progressively get more comfortable with getting higher, you're going to start from standing, okay? Now, first, just try practice falling, just like that, just like that. And once you get more comfortable with falling, you're going to jump into the fall, okay? Here we go. Whoop. There you go. And in the move, he actually catches with his hands and then catches with his foot and lowers himself to the ground. So he goes, whoop, like that, whoop, okay? And I guess you don't really need to stand up. You can just go into a worm or something. So once you get comfortable with hopping into it, next you're gonna add the tuck because that's what makes you look really high when you tuck up your legs. So this one is gonna take some practice and take your time. You don't have to expect to learn this move from the start to the end of this tutorial. It's probably gonna be like a three minute video. If you can learn this in three minutes, then let me know. I'll be very impressed, but this took me way longer to learn. So 
don't feel bad. Take your time, stay safe, and you're gonna get the move clean, all right? Let's do this, get it clean. So starting here, you're gonna hop, jump up, and then fall to the ground with your hands, okay? So the way you do that is, okay? That's a little more scary because you have an extra move in the middle. That's why you should practice on a soft surface, okay? And then I think the more that you angle your body sideways when you jump into a hop, the cleaner it's gonna look. Like that. That guy's climbing into a window. I hope he's not breaking into somebody's house. He's cleaning the window, okay, so he's considerate enough. There you have it, guys. With all the steps I've listed in this video, you should be able to progressively take your way up and get the jump dive safely and fast. Oh, wait, 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 sorry. I have a favor to ask you guys. It's very niche, but if someone happens to be watching this from San Diego and you know somebody who does FPV drone racing or any type of drone flying, uh, please let me know and tag them in this video or show it to them because I'm looking to get into FPV uh, drone piloting, but I don't know anyone in this area. So if you know somebody who does FPV drone racing in San Diego, let me know, please. I really appreciate it, you guys. Okay, back to the video. Now, like I said, you shouldn't expect to have this move in three minutes, but you can keep visiting this video and looking at the steps over and over again until you get it. And I believe in you guys, you'll get it, trust me. Everything can be learned, you just have to focus. You just gotta focus and put your back into it, okay? So all together, the move looks like this. And then you can get back up. This is a really cool get down, you can get down on the floor. And once you're on the floor, then you can do other things. But if you wanna learn that, then you should let me know in the comments and I'll help you learn those moves too, okay? This has been my quick jump dive tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope it helps. I'm having a ton of fun making these videos for you all and I hope to continue doing so. If you wanna support my content creation journey, then go ahead and subscribe or follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'll put the link below. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, what you wanna see in the future. I believe in you guys. I support the vision. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.